Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You, uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... What a missy man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wee -wee -wee -wow! You've got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. That's great. Who else is in the Battle Royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. <laughs> Whatever. 
The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm gonna finish what he started. I'm no stranger to Battle Royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Yeah. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way you want to start your tenure on SmackDown Live. Up next is one of the most dangerous matches in all of sports entertainment. All eyes are going to be watching. Sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. And look at it from. On his first time here on SmackDown Live, Bulls has an opportunity to become number one contender for the United States Championship. How, how did he qualify for this match? He literally just walked in the door. He had to take that up with Daniel Bryan, Corey. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. That kick will stop you in your tracks. I was going to tear the features clean off your face. What a strike. Point of the elbow, nailed it. some reason for concern. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. He's nice. starting to stagger a bit. I don't oh, think he expected to be in this position here. Takes him down in a major way, too. 
right to the chest. Super kick! Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs to make sure he understands what really matters. somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. Lethal attack focused on the chest. Bang! He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Max Handel finds its target. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Oof. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. Harsh impact. Corbin looking a bit uneasy here, but he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with it. Ooh! He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The end of days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the lone wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. Oh boy, he is Man. rolling. Oh, Ooh, what a knee left. Somebody better check his nose. Rusev stumbling a bit here. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. And there's the reversal from Zack Ryder. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh boy, he is rolling. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. In control, oh, impact. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. That's how you use the ropes to your advantage. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Vicious knee. It's still anyone's match to win. Neckbreaker. How can Ty Dillinger be put on the offensive quickly here? Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be this close. This is unreal. <laughs> oh, man. Side slam. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Oh, and he 
connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. What a clothesline! Ouch! Oh, what a slam! That hurt! He's looking incredibly fatigued right now. It's about as bad as it gets for him. He is hurt. Boy, at this point? Oh, my Someone God! Someone dropped to the outside! just barely got out of the way. Here he goes. Pulls line. Can he finish it? Yes! Takes it! You're looking at the new number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Bret the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! This should be good. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week Get lucky by winning a battle royal and then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. I've been at this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring night after night. And what have you been doing? 
wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym. So you have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test. But please, continue. <laughs> okay. If you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next, we have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Bring on the title match greatness. Tonight, two men set out to prove who can outlast the other in a grueling Iron Man match for the U.S. title. His shoulders are down. Bobby Roode pops the shoulder up. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. What a stomp. Good grief. The challenger's taking on some offense. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a the slouch, guys. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. Superstar, the champion into the cover. Two. Oh, a kick out. Gonna take more than that. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. see a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Double axe handle smash. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. Oh, close line! Got 
the shoulders down. Bobby Roode pops the shoulder up. Hallelujah. Bobby Roode is still in this. Yeah, hallelujah. Stop it, Byron. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Turns it around. Oh, nasty impact. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit. Looking to lock it in here. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. What a stop. Good grief. Kicked him. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Oh, man! You gotta believe this one's over! To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. And with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. Oh, what a slam. When this guy's on, look out. The room with an earth-shattering spine buster. That was glorious. That has got to be it. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. The champion into the cover. A kick out, and he almost had him. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Wow, I thought he was a goner. He's calling for it. He might have it. But can he follow up here? One, and the champ kicks out. A glorious kick out. Good thing more than that. Superstars are doing it right now. They gotta be exhausted. He's playing with him now. I don't think he should get up. Kick to the gut. Kick to the gut. He's not going to like this. He's almost got him.
What does Buzz have in store? We're going to the side slam. Nice. We may be looking at open. He could pin his opponent right here. Two. And he manages to get the shoulder up. Can you believe this? And he goes for the pin. Two. two. Barely at two and a half. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Here he goes. Thunderous slam. That's a good exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. And that should do it right there. Two. Three. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. with a reversal. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Nailed it. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. This has been a battle. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And it's reversed. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. Close line! Oh boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? We're We're about about to to for him. The champ's in a bad way now, Cole. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Eight. Nine. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Oh, boy, he is good. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. And if he hits this, this one's over. What you call a bad landing. The championship is in serious jeopardy, guys. Kick to the Just a nasty headbutt. Looking for the finish. He's teetering on the edge here. Right across the back of the neck. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Fisherman suplex. There's no way the champ can lose now. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? How'd he do that? Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. One more look at it. Side slam. Nice. Game set. Here's the cover. One, two, three. to be right now. Hey, he got himself in this mess. We've well, got to get himself out of it now. Knocked off his
his feet. Now that's a takedown. Now he's working that exploit. Unceremoniously deposited it down. We got a rope break. Superstars are running on fumes right about now. Three. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Two. Three. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Six. He wants no part of the outside. And this has got to be it. One, two. And he got a near fall out of it. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? What a battle this has been. I mean, these men have absolutely destroyed each other and over the course of this match, and there, there's still some time left on the clock. Let's take a little look at some of the action from that match. Wow. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man enjoy it for two minutes. The new United States Champion is here on SmackDown Live. From one champion to another, congrats on your win over Bobby Roode. Thanks. I mean, woo! <laughs> oh. Maybe you should leave that to me and my dad. We're scheduled to hear from the U.S. Champ later on tonight. And hopefully we don't have to hear any more of his terrible woos.